The new marshalling feature allows us to package picked items um, in preparation for dispatch. In the configuration of SysPro, we now have some extra options that we can apply to enable marshalling as well as pick confirmation. So first off, I'm going to show you marshalling. under configuration, distribution and inventory. And in here we've got an option for marshalling and then a second option for use marshalling for all customers. And this is switched on and is used when it's switched on initially so that it will then apply the marshalling option against all customers in the system. If we then have a look at the warehouses, um, marshalling can then be enabled at warehouse level. So you could have some warehouses which are going to have marshalling enabled and others which don't. So under the warehouse maintenance and within WMS control, we have this marshalling option here. And you can also see we've got a pick confirmation option there, which is currently disabled. So you won't be able to access this marshalling option against the warehouse until you've set marshalling against the company options. Then when it comes to further configuration of marshalling, you then need to be able to specify that you've actually got a marshalling location within the warehouse. So the first thing is to make sure that you've got a warehouse area which is set to marshalling. So if I select marshalling here, we can see that we've got um, the warehouse area type is set to M for marshalling. So once we have the area specified, we can then specify the bin location. And you could have multiple marshalling bin locations within a warehouse. And this could be determined by the number of loading bays that you have or areas where we're going to be consolidating picks or splitting picks um, to, to package up ready to go out of the door. So here is my example of a marshalling bin. So the marshalling bin I've called FGMAR01. Um, selected the marshalling warehouse area and the other thing to note um, against the against the configuration of this bin is that you need to specify as a dispatch bin so that when a pick is created or as you're creating that pick you can then specify that your target bin location is one of these marshalling areas So I've gone away and I've picked the sales order and the, the destination for that sales order was marshalling. So under warehouse management, um, we've now got this warehouse management folder and inside picking and transaction processing, we have marshalling. From here, we can select our warehouse and the bin location that we want to process. And we've also got the ability to filter it down by customer, by sales order and by pick number. So when we run this, we can see that I've now got, um, I've now got the lines that I've picked. And if the first thing that we need to do is actually specify the outer container that we're going to package um, these goods up into. So we, we click on the add new outer, which then tells us that outer one in this case has been created. And when we, what we can do from here is we can then select the relevant uh, pick lines that we want to add into that outer. What we can also do from the, from the top half of the screen is specify how many that we actually want to put into this into this outer so we can split the pick line across multiple multiple outers so I'm going to type two in there select that 
add that to the outer and we can see that we've added two and up here we've got we've still got the five and five and three available um, so I'll then save that and that then tells me that the container one has been has been saved and what I'll do is I will create a second um, container to take the remainder so I'll add those into into the second container and when I click on save that will then um, tell me that those two those two boxes have been created and when I click on the on the save button up at the top it then comes in and shows me the outers that I've that I've just generated that are now available to be um, to be sent to dispatch and I can select both of those Click on the play button, and that will then move those those that order and those two outers into the dispatch process, and we can then generate the the dispatch paperwork and and process the dispatch as normal. We've provided the ability under the reports section of um, picking within warehouse management management is to produce a packing label and to produce a packing manifest which are very similar reports and their selections are similar. So for the packing label, what we can do here is we can select a, a single or a range of number, of, uh, range of outers, and that will then, when we browse on that, would then show us our, our outers and tell us what, what customer that's related for. So we can select those. And against the, um, against the packing manifest, we have a couple of other options which we can which we can use. So we can, in here, we can select that by um, by customer, um, the sales order and, and pick number, and also we can um, specify whether we want to include dispatched and, and include created. But we've still got the standard um, selection based on based on the outer, which is which is the important thing here.